Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, nine by my side here. Just gonna do a real quick video. It's actually a contest entry for Plumber Joe 80, having 111 subscriber mega giveaway. Uh, I want to congratulate him for hitting 100 subs. You have a great channel. I actually just recently found it. It was shown to me by uh, another fellow Minnesotan, Hack Jason, uh, pointed out to me, and and you really do got a great channel. I'm glad I found it, and uh, I figured I'd uh, participate in your in your giveaway. So the uh, the rules are he wants to just see some of your gear. He doesn't really care what kind of gear it is, whether it's your EDC, your knife collection, um, you know, tool collection, uh, shit hits the fan, cooking, whatever. It doesn't matter. So uh, I figured I'd, I'd participate and just show a, a couple things and kind of go from there. I figured maybe we'll show some knives, maybe some rifles and an EDC, just kind of make sure that we have most of the bases covered. I will back up from here and just show you real quick some of the guns. Uh, those are some of my pistols. You guys can tell uh, if you've watched my videos before anyway that there's definitely some missing. Uh, one of my AKs. Try to flip it up real quick. This one's the uh, Inner Ordnance AK-47C. It's got a uh, millet shot dot on it. I think it's a millet. No, it's a Simmons shot dot. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, I think I got a video on that. My AR, Smith & Wesson M&P. And another AK, this is the Yugo Underfolder, and then some of my knives. Just kind of a bunch of them, I guess. Some cheap, some not so cheap. And then just random shells and a bunch of magazines down there. Oh, I got the pistols. I don't know if you can see them behind the, the rifle mags, AR, AK. The ammo stash, a clay pigeon thrower, real big into trap shooting. Uh, some of my shotguns over here, another AR, so, some vests and, I don't know, all kinds of stuff, so, a few more shotguns and whatever, rifles, and then I got some more hidden back there, I don't know if you can see them at all, the barrel sticking out, some reloading gear, um, shotgun shells are actually what I load uh, just for trap, so, generally, Pretty light loads so yeah we'll move on real quick to uh, do a quick EDC and uh, we'll go from there all right guys we'll do the EDC portion here real quick uh, it actually works out pretty well because I think I did an EDC update probably a month or so ago and I've been wanting to update it anyway I've gotten a few new items uh, since then so works out pretty well um, some of the items are I, I I switch off between firearms and knives sometimes but I have my most common carries with me, so I'll show you what all of them are. We'll start out real quick with uh, just a Le Leatherman Juice S2. Uh, just a pretty basic multi-tool. Um, I just got this got a couple weeks ago, but I really like it. It's actually came in handy quite a bit more than I thought it would. Uh, between blades, I'm generally going to carry one of two Spydercos. I'm going to carry either the uh, Spyderco Police Combo Edge. Um... I don't carry this quite as much as, as I do the other one that I'm about to show you just because I don't like the handle, the stainless handle a whole lot. You don't get quite the purchase that, that I would like to get. But I do still carry quite a bit. It's it's a pretty sweet knife. Otherwise I carry the uh, Spyderco Endura 4. It's been in several videos. I've been carrying it for a long time and it's a knife that most often you'll see with me. All right. After that, uh, as far as a lighting source, pretty simple. The uh, Streamlight MicroStream. I think it's a 24 lumen, I think, I, I could be wrong, but I think it's 24 lumen, uh, single cell, AAA battery, light, but very convenient to carry and uh, sufficiently bright. You know, it's not excessively bright, but it's, it's sufficient for, you know, what you would need. Um, cell phone is still going to be the uh, iPhone 4. This one's holding, or being held in a Magpul executive case. I don't know if you can see where it says Magpul, the light's on. Uh, this is the orange one. I also have the black one. They're nice little cases. They're not great, but they're not bad. Um, then my wallet is the uh, Maxpedition Spartan. Um, I, again, I recently switched this. I've been having, or I've had my Harley Davidson leather wallet for a long time, a number of years, and just recently switched to this, and I couldn't be happier. I definitely, definitely like this wallet a lot. Uh, as far as firearm, it's going to be one of two things, depending on um, how much I feel like carrying that day. Um, so. Sometimes uh, the newest member is going to be uh, the Ruger LCR 357 Magnum. 
unloaded. Okay. Um, and then I actually recently put, I don't know if you can see the sight, I recently put a uh, sight excess uh, big dot night sight on it. Hey, baby. My daughter just walked in. Give me one minute, okay, honey? And if I'm carrying that, it's going to be in uh, just a basic Blackhawk. Um, geez, I don't even know what size. Oh, size 3 pocket holster. Nothing special. The gun I do love a lot, though. And then otherwise, if I, if I don't feel like carrying or I don't feel like it's necessary to carry lighter, um, I will carry what I have carried for a long time, my Glock 23. This one has a Crimson Trace laser on it. I haven't done a video on that yet, um, but I like it. That's also, if you can see, empty. It's the magazine. And when I'm carrying that, it'll be in the CompTAC uh, Minotaur MTAC holster in the waistband. Usually carried at about 4 o'clock. So that's it. Uh, that's going to be my EDC generally. Um, and then again, give or take a, a thing or two here and there, but that's generally about it that's going to be on my person. So uh, again, congratulations to Plumber Joe 80. Um, uh, again, I'm real happy I got turned on to your channel. Um, I hope uh, others get the chance to see it as well. It's definitely a good channel, and I'll look forward to more upcoming videos. Thanks a lot, guys.